Go. Okay, today we're going to be working on another math parabola question. So, x and y axis, again, given the equation of the graph, y equals x squared. So I'm just going to um, roughly sketch the graph um, x squared. It doesn't need to be perfect. Just need to get the idea of the parabola. And they give you a point, 1, negative 3. You need to find the equations of the two tangents um, that pass through this point, 1, negative 3, um, and one point on this parabola. So you need to find out um, if it passes through here. You need to find out this point and the tangent for this side. You need to find out this point. So how we're going to do this is, well, first we know that these these coordinates are just going to be, we can let them be denoted. So we can just say this is x, x squared, because we don't know what x is yet. Same thing for this side, x, x squared. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to do the derivative of our parabola y equals x squared to find the slope. So y prime, which is the derivative, equals 2x. So this would be equal to, another way of finding the slope is doing delta y over delta x. So we're given this point and this point. Now we just need to do the difference of y uh, divided by the difference of x. Okay, so difference of y is x squared minus negative 3, which is x squared plus 3. So x squared plus 3 divided by, and then delta x, which is x minus 1. And then this is another way of finding the slope. So this would be equal to the slope that we found earlier, the derivative 2x. And what we're going to do from here is we're going to cross multiply um, to try to solve for x. So x squared plus 3 because let's just assume the bottom is 1. So this times this equals this times this. So x squared plus 3 equals, and then 2x times x is 2x squared. Negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. So 2x squared minus 2x. Um, and what we're going to do here is we're going to bring everything to one side to let this uh, function, let this um, equation equal to 0. So 0 equals, we're going to bring everything to the right side to keep the positive. So bring this to the right side, then you get negative x squared. So 2x squared minus x squared, then you get x squared. <clears throat> and then this stays on the side, um, minus 2x. And then 3, bring it over, change signs, negative 3. All right. So... Now, what, how, we're, uh, how we're going to do x is we're going to factor out this, um, this x squared. So, what we can do here is, since it's x squared, you do x on each of them. And then, you want to make, so this times this is x squared. How you usually expand is you do this times this, and then this times this would give you negative 3. So what times what gives you negative 3? Well, it has to be a negative number and a positive number. And as you can see, if you add the negative and the positive number, the negative has to be more because the it would be negative 2. So it would be negative 3 plus 1 would give you negative 2. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. So that works. And how I know this is because x times x is x squared. x times 1 is x. 
and then negative 3 times x is negative 3x. So x minus 3x would give you minus 2x, so that works. And negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Alright, so now we found we know what x is now. Um, x can be, um, this has to be equal to 0. So either this is 0, multiplied by this would be 0, or this is 0, multiplied by this by, would be 0. So x can be 3, because 3 minus 3 is 0. Or um, x can be negative 1, because negative 1 plus 1 is 0. So now what we're going to do here is... Um, okay, so we're going to do... We're going to use y equals mx plus b, the regular equation of a line. So y equals mx plus b. So um, let's do the coordinates. x is 3 or negative 1. So when x is 3, it would have to be on the right side. So that would be this one. And when x is negative 1, it would be on the left side, so it would be this one. So we know which one is which um, right away from our sketch. That doesn't even have to be accurate. So this x now we know is 3. 3 and x squared is y, which is 9. Pretty simple. And for the left side, it would be x, negative 1, or x squared, 1. If 1 squared is 1. Alright, so now that we know the coordinates, we can sub in x and y and m, which is the slope. And how we know the slope is because 2x is the slope that we found out earlier. So, let's sub in for the right side first. 9 equals, and m is basically the slope, which is 2x. 2x is 3 times 2, which is 6. 6 times x, which is 3, 3, plus b. We need to figure out what b is so that we can find out our equation of this tangent right here for the right side. So 9 equals 6 times 3 is 18, 18 plus b, which, and we know that b equals, bring 18 over, and we get negative 9. b equals negative 9. So our equation would be, <coughs> for the tangent, y equals, keep the slope, 6, it wouldn't be an equation if we don't have y and x as variables, and plus, I mean minus 9, because b is minus 9, mx plus b, so y equals 6x minus 9, so that would be the equation of this tangent right here, alright, so now, we don't even have to go through all the different steps to find out the left side tangent because we already know <coughs> x and y from what we figured out here in this factoring. So we're just going to do the same steps. y equals mx plus b, 7y, 7x, 7m, and you get 1 equals m is 2x, which is negative 2. Negative 2 times, and then x is negative 1, plus b. So, 1 equals mm, 2, because negative 2 times negative 1 is 2, plus b. So, b is negative 1. So, now we keep the y and keep the x, and sub in m and b. So our equation would be y equals, let's hope it's negative 2, negative 2, x minus 1. Alright, so these are the two equations of our tangents that pass through 1, negative 3, and 1 point on the parabola.